Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Marcus and in this video I will show you a simple way how you can create for a website for your village. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is just scroll down below to the description and click on the link webnode. When you will have it, you will get a list site called webnode. Webnode is an amazing company and you can create really beautiful website in no more than 10 minutes honestly and I will show you how. So let's just click get started for free and you need to create your account first but I can like create my website already. So uh, I will just name it Willich and create a website. I'll show you the basics, how you can use it, what you can like add there and you can create like the whole Willich website by yourself and uh, what you prefer and what you like. So you can really choose, I don't know, even this one here, the template is like up to you. And let's just wait. What I really like is that when you're gonna like buy the premium or like standard version, uh, you always can like improve your website, add there some news from your village, photos from a village, and just really play around it. So add in my site. So first I would delete this one. Or I would leave it probably, I don't know, I would see. So first, on left top corner, you can add the name of your village. And then you can change logo here. You don't need to if you, you can also remove it or just change it and upload the icon here if you want to. It's like really up to you uh, what you do. So you can click logo and remove logo. And then you're going to have this here, home, about, us price list, photo gallery and contact. That's a header. And what you can do is just click on page here. And literally add a new page or disable or like price list delete page photo gallery we can have that contact we can have that and about us or like our history we would rename it or you can also add whatever page you want by just adding page and just choosing blank page about us price list contact member area whatever right so when we have it, this is our header and it's really easy to edit only because when you're going to delete something from a page, it's going to be deleted from directly from header. Now you can also uh, change the picture in header and how I would just name village and I don't know, I'm going to choose this here. I would download it. Yes, I would upload it. And voila, here we have it. So I would also choose like different photo or just play a little bit around it. So I can change the position here. We can add also filters or like add the animation, the blurry, if you want, so that's like up to you. What I recommend now, going to settings and you're gonna see here the design you can change also the website colors and website fonts if you want to okay i'm going to have a red one welcome save changes welcome or like hmm I'm thinking if I would delete it or no. Welcome in our village. Now, what you can do now is just easily add sections here. You can add text with image, two columns. Like I can add text with image about what is new in our village. And you can just add the text here and change the picture if you want. Like really up to you now you just add your text then in this i would like add see our newest event and again simply i would just add the photo galleries here and everything i'm going to delete this one here 
definitely. Delete. Delete. Okay. And when we have it, like we can go to our history. And again, just change everything here. I would just rename it our history. You can also change like different template if you want. So like if you don't like this one here. And again, I would just change the image. I would add a text. Then look at this. I would add new section text with image. I would delete this one here. And I can move my how it's called picture to have it on the right side. So also what I forget to show you is when you're going to click plus here, you can add image, photo gallery, video, line, map, button, contact from blank form, HTML file. You can literally edit everything here. So this is how it's really perfect. So this is where I would just add like our history of our village. Now I would have like photo gallery here. And again, this would be same. I would change the section. And I would add pictures here. Then I would also change this one probably to black. Our pictures. I would also create like albums here. There's also another way how we can do it. By just adding photo gallery or, or just image. And just like next even, next even, etc. So that's another way. Or you can just add links here. So you can just create a like this when you would add like galleries and you want to have the own separate page, you would add a page, you would add a photo gallery, choose. You would have an event, I don't know. Football, right? Again, I would change photos and everything. I will show you what I would do. I would change photos of the event and I would go here to pages and here village football I would hide from it and then I would click to photo gallery and I would just simply add like new button or new image or like basic link that will link directly to our probably button to our football. So I would do this. I would go with a section. Or even. I'm thinking how would I do it. But probably like that, yes. Go back. I would go with a plus and I would choose. Maybe text and image. Yes, could be. Football in our village, and I would link it to the village football, right? So when I'm going to publish it, people just can click it, and uh, people can see the photos of it. So this is how I would do it, and they would just like add also another way, another like heading or text with image, and I would paste the picture like this so it's much prettier and have it like this you know and we are really cool right now I like it so this is how I do it and I would just add the text here now also what I wanted to show you is how we can simply use the columns and everything so creating columns is really simple so I'm just going to click plus here add the basic text and you can simply move everything. So we have a basic text here. I'm going to add different basic text and I can just take it and just paste it on the right bottom of the, of the picture. And you can see that I'm going to create two columns. Then I can take this third one and create a free column. And you can add pictures and everything here. So this is how we create, like it's up to you how we create a village website and what you want to actually have there. But Webnode is a good platform to create it. It's simple. And then what you need to do is just like simply publish the website. Nice. Or what I recommend is buying the domain. Look at this. Then if someone's going to click on photo gallery. And click on photo. 
and I would be in here football in our village and someone would just click there and would add to the village football oh it's Larina bucked so this is how we can do it and I recommend buying the main it's going to cost like 100 euro 100 bucks is not that much so I will also try this way yes you can go and you need to pay for one year but I think it's worth it and I recommend doing that so thank you very much everybody and have a great day and goodbye